Hello and welcome to my video. Chuck Holmes here, network marketing professional. What I'd like to do in today's video is talk about some MLM trends and predictions. Now, keep in mind, this is just my opinion. Individual results will vary. I just want to share my thoughts based off 21 years of doing this, what I think the future has in store for network marketing. Now, keep in mind, nothing ever stays the same. You probably already know that. And no one really knows exactly what's going to happen in the future. But change is inevitable. Change is always working. Nothing ever stays exactly the same. So network marketing is still going well worldwide. It's still a multiple billion dollar industry. If you look at the top 10 biggest companies and you added up their revenue, it's probably close to $30 billion. That's just the top 10 big boys. If you added in all of the revenue from all of the companies, I don't know the exact amount, but I'd be willing to bet it's over 100 billion or very close to it. So it's huge. It's still doing very well worldwide. It's flourishing in the world. It's kind of on the, it's kind of stagnant here in the United States. It's not, I wouldn't say it's dead, but more and more people are less receptive to it than they are overseas. And that's for a variety of reasons. Mostly, I think, because here in the in the USA, we enjoy such a great standard of living, even if we're hurting, you know, we still have a roof over our head. We still have that new smartphone, a big plasma TV, a car in the driveway. Whereas in other countries, if you don't work, you don't eat, you starve. So um, people in other countries tend to be much more hungry for an opportunity than a lot of Americans are. And that's just my opinion. Uh, Amazon and online shopping, they put a big dent in our industry. So once Amazon came along and the internet came along, and it's been around about 30 years now, popular anyway it's been around longer than that but people now have the world at their fingertips that's my phone i'm holding right there people can go on their computer they can go on their phone they can compare prices they can research ingredients they could compare two or three different products all with the push of a couple buttons more importantly online shopping has reduced overhead for a lot of companies which means they can offer you lower prices online than you can get somewhere else so that product that you're selling for $100 and a consumer can get something similar on Amazon for $15, they're going to buy it for the $15 every single day of the week. And I respect that because I'm a consumer and I do the same thing. So that's kind of like the 30,000 foot view. Let's get into some of the nuggets here about my predictions of what I think is going to happen. Number one, I think organic and clean and environmentally friendly products are going to be the wave of the future in network marketing. I think people are waking up to the fact that there are chemicals, there are a lot of questionable ingredients in a lot of the food that we eat and a lot of the products that we take. And the educated consumer, I don't think they're going to tolerate that forever. They're, more and more people are going to go clean, they're going to go organic, and they're going to start reading ingredient labels. So companies that can adapt to this are going to do really well, in my opinion, in the industry, as long as they can keep their price point reasonable. Number two, companies have to have better pricing to compete with Amazon. I want to give two companies a shout out, and I'm not involved in any way uh, with either of these companies as a disclaimer, but I want to give a shout out to Melaleuca and to Avon because they understand affordable product pricing. Those two companies, in my opinion, other than the company I represent, have the best product prices for the consumer in the industry. They don't have a bottle of shampoo that's $100 and says maybe eight or $10, like something you buy at the store. They have something that someone not doing the business would still consider a good deal. And that, in my opinion, is the wave of the future. Companies have to have products that are a good deal financially to people not doing the business. The next trend of the future would be global expansion. And because MLM is so alive and well, especially in African countries, in Asian countries, even in South American countries. A lot of companies that are stuck doing business in the U.S. only, they're either going to go away or they're going to plateau or steadily decline because they're not tapping into that market. A lot of companies now, right out the gate, are going to start doing the international expansion. And when I mean global expansion, I don't just mean shipping to every country from the U.S. I mean having distribution centers strategically throughout the world so customers can get their products quickly and affordably. The next trend or the wave of the future or prediction for network marketing would be AI. Now, AI stands for artificial intelligence. I'm not an expert on AI. I just started using it. But what I'm learning is it can help with customer service. It can help with content creation. It can help with answering questions. 
It can help with making videos. So companies are going to use AI in many different ways to benefit their customers and their distributors. And I believe that a lot of network marketing companies that don't adapt AI or tap into that, they're going to get left behind. The next one is regulation and compliance. And you see the, the FTC and different government agencies, they crack down on a lot of things in our industry. And for the consumer, most of the time, that's a good thing. I think you're going to see a lot of companies who are kind of on that gray line doing questionable things. I think you're going to see a lot of them get cracked down in the future. Distributors and companies making medical claims, income claims, having policies that are, are questionable, they're bad. I think you're going to see more regulation and compliance as we continue in the future in the MLM industry. Next one, hybrid business models. I think this is the wave of the future as well in network marketing. I think you're going to see some network marketing companies switch to regular affiliate companies, kind of like Avocare did. They got rid of their network marketing component and they basically do one level sales. I think you're going to see a lot of companies do that. And I also think you're going to see a lot of affiliate companies switch to multiple levels of affiliate payouts because it is so lucrative for the company and for the people. Number seven, customer and product focus. Actually, let me go back to number six for a minute, hybrid business models. I think another prediction or trend that you're going to see in the future is more membership-based companies. I promote a membership-based company. I love it. Uh, we get paid on a monthly membership rather than on a product sale, which allows us to have our products at Amazon prices, which I absolutely love. I think that's going to be the wave of the future as well. Big trend. Next one is the customer and product focus. I think Going forward, any company that isn't product or customer focused, it's not going to be around long term. Why? Because a business should have a lot more customers than it should distributors. An MLM business should have 10 or 20 customers for every distributor. If it's just distributors and no customers, that means in most cases, it's not a good deal for the customer. So I don't think those companies are going to last too long or last that much longer in the industry. Number eight, no more auto ships or starter kits. I think you're going to see that go away as time goes on. I hope it does because I hate starter kits. I hate monthly auto ships. I understand why companies do it. I don't think it's unethical. I just think it's not the smartest thing to do uh, in the industry. No one wants to be stuck on a monthly auto ship with products they don't want, can't use, and can't sell. No one uh, should be forced to buy a $2,000 or a $3,000 starter kit just to maximize commissions in the compensation plan. I don't like those. That's front loading. I don't like that at all. And I hope that goes away, to be honest with you. And finally, number nine, companies that don't adapt and change with, with the times and as things evolve, I think they're going to get left behind. I think you're going to see a lot more network marketing companies go out of business in the next five years. And I think you're going to see some new companies replace what are currently the big companies. That's what I think is going to happen in the next few years. Because a lot of the big companies in our industry, they're still stuck in that 1980s, 1990s mindset. And they're still running things that way with what worked back then might not be the case in 2023 at the time of making this video. So these are my trends and prediction. I would say the future is bright for network marketing. For anyone who wants to make this a career like I have, I still think it's a viable option takes a special person who's willing to make that kind of commitment and take the time to master and develop their skills. But I still think there's a lot of money to be made in the industry. I still think it's a great industry to be part of as a part-timer or as a full-timer, but it's not for everyone. And I think in the future, almost everyone in the world is going to be an MLM customer with at least one company because companies are going to figure out if they lower the prices they'll get a lot more customers and they need customers to stay in business. So this concludes my MLM trends and predictions. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. You can leave a comment below to tell me what you think. In the description box below this training, I share some helpful resources, training tools, tips to help you succeed in network marketing. You can also learn more about my opportunity down there. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It'll help our channel out a lot. I appreciate you watching. We make new videos almost every single day. So make sure you check out our channel. Keep coming back with that. Have a great day. Thanks again.